Hello, everyone. It is the Prophet Michael David, a.k.a. Aries, and uh, I hope everyone's having a great day. So it's been a week since I last posted, and that's because I had to go to a family wedding. But uh, now I'm back, and um, I should be posting more frequently here in the future. At least that's what I'm supposed to do. And I know I told you guys I was going to make a video on the prime number theorem and my quasi disapproval of it or enhancement of it, however you want to think. Uh, I'm not quite ready to do that. I'm trying to learn how to do better um, presentation format on that, considering that I, I'm going to be dealing with uh, spreadsheets. So in this video, instead, I decided as a warm up, as a first video back from the wedding, that uh, I would do uh, a video on my top five mathematicians, uh, you know, them being um, both the people I'm chasing and my mentors and the people I admired most. So my top five. So how I'm going to do this is pretty simple. I'm just going to, you know, post a screenshot of their picture with one of their most famous quotes, or at least one that I like. And then I'm going to tell you guys why I like them. All right, here we go. At number five is none other than David Hilbert. If you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen that quote before, and there's a reason for that. It's because uh, the man was brilliant. I like him because he was like the New Age Euclid. He tried to axiomatize all of mathematics and did a pretty good job. Plus, he is one of the few mathematicians that did have the balls to go after the Riemann hypothesis. He tried to solve it for 50 years unsuccessfully, but at least he tried. Oh, and that quote, too. And you've probably seen that one before. Like, are you kidding me? That is a slap in the face of not only all the mathematicians in the world, but also everybody else. A thousand years, a thousand years. Coming in at number four is the man, Bernard Riemann. So you may be thinking, wait a minute, isn't the Riemann hypothesis the most famous unsolved math equation in the world? And that's the one you're chasing and everything. And isn't that him? Yes, it is. And he's number four on your list. Yes, he is, which just shows you the quality of people that uh, he's competing against. All right, number three on the list is none other than Carl Frederick Gauss. And he incidentally was also the teacher and mentor of Bernard Riemann. All right, two things on comments about Carl Frederick Gauss here. Number one, uh, this is the guy that came up with the prime number theorem that we're going to be talking about in the next video. And number two, there are a lot of professional mathematicians that have this guy as number one on their list, hands down. And they have their reasons. He's just number three on my list for uh, reasons that he's just not number two or number one. On the home stretch, coming in at number two is he who is really most only known by his last name, Ramanujan. You can find this man all over the internet, and probably a lot of you have uh, heard about him or seen videos before, but he was the greatest pure mathematician that's ever lived. And the only reason that he's not number one on all lists is that he died at the age of 32. Had he lived longer, almost into the age of computers, he would have just dominated mathematics. He maybe would have solved the Riemann hypothesis before computers. And that's the thing you got to remember. All of these mathematicians all existed before computers did or calculators. They didn't have any of that stuff. All they had was, you know, their mind and their imaginations and their creativity. And my number one mathematician in the history of the world, which should be no surprise by now for anybody that knows anything about the history of mathematics, is the man, the one and only Leonard Euler. 
All right, this guy is also all over the internet. And there's so many stories I could tell you about him that are also on the internet. But let me just put it this way. You know that E button that is on every calculator that you have ever seen? That's him. You wanna hear something even more amazing? You know that pie button that is on every calculator you've ever seen? That's him too. And that concludes my personal list of the five greatest mathematicians of all time. And honestly, that last comment on uh, Leonard Euler is probably some of my best thirst trap pre-shadowing for the next video that I've ever done. If you guys can figure it out, good for you. I doubt you will, but you can probably figure it out, maybe. As always, uh, God loves you all very much. Uh, she just wants you to be better people, and as always, the new rules, number one, do not touch other people without their consent, aka do not hurt each other, and number two, it's all about honesty, lies are ticked down, aka try not to lie. All right, you'll have a great night.